All right, let's go. Oh, can you uh, please say your name? Yeah. Your full name, just so um, I can edit it out. Okay. Lewis Xavier Keith. How do you feel about racism in sports? Whether it's in sports or everyday life, racism is something that should not be tolerated on any level. Uh, within sports, just like life, you'll get it. It's almost, it's almost something you can't avoid, unfortunately. You're more just dealt with the question, how do you deal with it, and how do you minimize it? You're more putting everybody's uh, personal judgments aside. And, uh, not judging people from the outside, but rather their morals and how they are from the inside out. Do you feel like this topic may be resolved in the near future? It's going to be an ongoing process. It's not anything that's going to be resolved overnight. It's been something that people or even mankind has been dealing with since I feel the very beginning, whether it's skin color, religion, beliefs, or whatever the issue is. It's, it's not something that's going to be resolved overnight, but if we can collectively make an effort to you know, have good in our hearts and see people for what they really are as opposed to just the outside, it's something that can be improved as time goes on. But unfortunately, it'll be nothing that disappears 100%. Have you ever experienced racial abuse while you're playing a sport? If so, how did you deal with it? I personally haven't. I, um, I was born in South America. I come from a Hispanic background. Um, now maybe it's maybe it's because my physical appearance doesn't really scream that. I mean, a lot of people feel I'm Italian or Caucasian, so I, I actually have not. But I witnessed it, and it's it's unfortunate when you do. When you witnessed it, did you decide to take any action? Uh, maybe tell their coach, a coach, or something like that. You know, it's it's difficult because I've witnessed it a couple times, and a few times that you have, it's it's in the heat of the game, and it's uh, it's obviously nothing I condone or approve. But in the heat of the game, it's so hard to step in. But I know on an occasion or two where it's been a teammate or even a friend of mine. And I know something has been said where I know the person who said it is a good person and for general, in general he means good, but in the heat of battle or in the heat of moment, you know, something came out where it shouldn't have. So it's been something that's been discussed afterwards and there's been apologies afterwards as well. What sport do you think may cause, okay, which sport do you feel may cause the most problems with racism? I don't know if there's a particular sport in general that does. Maybe a few sports um, that come to mind are, believe it or not, golf or maybe even um, soccer, basketball. And I say some of those sports because they tend to be more dominated by a certain skin color. For example, golf and tennis for the most part by uh, people of, of white background and maybe basketball of people of, of African or black descent. So. Um, but building off of that, anytime there's a strong majority and a very small minority in the sport, there are differences. And if something happens, for the good or bad, it's easy to point out the differences in people. And whether or not it's right, which which it isn't, you know, it's it's going to happen. And like I said before, people say things that they don't mean, or people say things that they regret. You know, so in the heat of battle, if you see someone as a target, you might point out something that's different or you know, it's something that I feel a lot of people might regret after saying. How do you think we can contribute to stopping racism in sports? As a whole, I feel it comes from uh, comes from having good intentions, knowing that uh, as a whole, our human race, we're all we're all in this together. You know, we're all uh, we're all built the same way. It doesn't matter how you look on the outside. For the, for the most part, I feel people are good. People are built off of uh, good intentions, and if we can kind of try and keep that as opposed to uh, putting out differences and things like that, you know, we can make some progress. Any last, any last thoughts you want to add? You know, um, not particularly, just to build off what I said, people just need to, not just people like me, everybody, they need to uh, look past the outside and judge people on their beliefs, their morals, and some of their values as opposed to what they look like on the outside. It's something that can be uh, not fixed overnight, but if we all make a collective 
effort to better that. It's something that can uh, be improved upon. All right, let me read that. Yeah. I'll hold it, I guess. You want to take a look at it? Please visit www.sportracism.weebly.com to learn more on Weebly? How Weebly. Okay. To learn more on how to stop racism in goods. So if you just look to the camera. Please visit www.sportsracism.weebly.com to learn more on how to stop racism within sports.